Identity and social politics. Now, the Harris 2024 campaign is it's going to come down to two things, race and abortion. That's right. It's basically a dual issue campaign that will target voters based on the color of their skin and their gender. Now, don't get me wrong. I get how obvious this is to some, but I'm still a little confused by the overall strategy. Yes, I get it. Democrats tend to be tone deaf and out of touch but they can't be completely void of what's happening right in front of their faces. I mean, can they? Donald Trump shows up unexpectedly at a bodega in the Bronx, and all he received was love. It was so palpable. I mean, a deep blue minority community of mostly black and brown people were super excited to see him. I mean, they were genuinely supportive. None of it was orchestrated or contrived. It was real. It was organic. The crowd that formed, they were energized, and you could see it on their faces how excited they were for the man that they believe made their lives better when he was in the Oval Office. But what has Kamala Harris's campaign been doing? <laughs> well, they're having segregated fundraisers. Yeah, that's right. White dudes for Harris. Isn't that special? Kamala is carrying on her shoulders 248 years of pain of agony, of hope, of frustration. Thank you, Ross. Uh, what, a, what a variety of whiteness we have here. We got the dude, we got Pete. It's like a rainbow of, uh, of beige. Man, I am scared to death of what the future could look like if we go back to another Trump administration, one that truly left working construction white men behind. Can you imagine Donald Trump hosting a whites-only event. I mean, seriously, think about it. Every liberal host on TV, I mean, after the heads exploded, of course, they'd be screaming at the camera how this was a KKK meeting and Trump was the grand wizard. I mean, Karen, uh, Kamala, she's been hosting Karens for Harris, which from what I know, that's considered a derogatory or degrading term for white women. I mean, at least I thought it was meant to be an insult. I guess there's a lot of self-loathing white people out there that are ultra-liberal and willing to degrade themselves for the bigger cause. I guess even if the cause is more crime, open borders, and inflation that crushes the lower and middle economic classes. No matter how you slice it, Democrats are setting back the civil rights movement by decades. When we can include or exclude anyone, for that matter, based solely on the color of their skin or their gender, I'd say we're violating the Constitution and slapping all of the great civil rights leaders right in their face. We're besmirching their legacies. But they're also making a mockery of real racism. When everything from math to which car you drive is racist, then nothing is racist. It's more than just the boy who cried wolf. The Democrats have worn out the race card, and more and more, minority groups are wise to these false flags. Which begs the question, why only run on race and abortion. One does not have to abandon their faith or deeply held beliefs to agree the government should not be telling her what to do with her body. When I am president of the United States, I will sign into law the protections for reproductive freedom. So let's get this done. And we who believe in reproductive freedom will stop Donald Trump's extreme abortion bans because we trust women to make decisions about their own body and not have their government tell them what to do. That's all they can say on that issue. But really, they're mad at the Supreme Court, but they're lying about the facts since the ruling actually emboldens the voice of the American people by sending abortion, abortion right back to the states. It doesn't take anyone's rights. It makes them stronger.